Hello everyone. In this tutorial we will explore the sketch tools available in CM Builder. Features like resources, excavation, zones, and others in CM Builder require a sketch as a reference to create customized shapes. Today we will use a simple massing to demonstrate the sketch tools. So, let's jump right in. When you're ready to sketch, your cursor will change into a black pen to indicate a tool that requires a sketch and a side sheet will appear with some initial settings. Start your sketch by placing a point on your map. A grid line plane will appear alongside additional sketch functions and properties. This plane is called the Z plane, and its default elevation is based on the terrain elevation of the initial point. The origin point can be identified by the vertical and horizontal lines, which align with the true north. Now let's explore the Sketch Properties tab first. In the first field, select if you prefer to sketch on the Z-plane, or use the terrain or other objects as your sketch reference. You can offset the plane elevation by either entering the value in the field, or by selecting a new elevation from the viewer. The Geometry and Point fields will display global references for your sketch elements. You can also visualize the sketch area in the Properties tab and confirm the sketch when ready. In the Settings tab, you'll find various display configurations for your sketch. Enable or disable the Length, Angle and Area preview to view the respective values on the polyline display. Turn on the Snapping Display toggle to easily snap the geometries along grid lines or other known references. Enabling 3D projection will display a projection of the sketch on the terrain. Lastly, enable guiding lines to show a line connecting your pen to the terrain, aiding your sketching process. Now, let's learn how to draw a sketch. It's always a good practice to work in 2D mode to ensure you won't be affected by perspective. The line tool is selected by default and allows you to add points and draw straight lines. For moving elements within the sketch, use the Move tool. Hold Shift to constrain the movement to predefined angles. The Arc tool requires a line to be utilized and can be adjusted by moving its control points. To draw a circle, click on the Circle button. Define the center by selecting a point on the map and adjust the size by moving your mouse. For a rectangle, click on the first point and drag your mouse to create the desired shape. It will align with the sketch's vertical and horizontal orientation. Note, a sketch can only contain one continuous line. A warning will be displayed if it contains more than one. Use the redraw button to start over or clear the existing sketch. The Project from 3D function allows you to draw the shape of the sketch from an existing 3D volume. Start by selecting an object to project on the plane and use its perimeter to create a sketch automatically. The Snap function helps you align lines or points. Select a line or point you want to adjust, and then select the face to which you want it aligned. This tool is best utilized while working in 3D mode. Next. The Offset function allows you to expand or contract your sketch. Select the line and then move the mouse in the desired direction. Alternatively, you can enter a value in the Offset field in the Properties panel. The Perpendicular, Parallel and Equal function allows you to adjust the orientation of a line in relation to another. Simply, first select the line you want to adjust, then select the reference line. And lastly, the equal function applies the length of one line to another. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video, where we will cover detailed massing.